A high rise is defined by the mix of glass, metal, and stone that is the face it shows to the world. Evo's exterior began with its architects. I hope this is just much more appropriate. Lead design architect Robert Thompson wanted a building that took full advantage of the California sun. I think this is going to be pretty incredible to have this whole hot glass facade and then have the rhythm of these elements marching their way down, you know, the facade. I think this is going to really create a pretty cool pattern, you know, on the building. A little bit of both. I mean, you still don't have accentuated. He chose floor-to-ceiling windows combined with recesses. sleek aluminum panels. The best way to achieve this look was to use a curtain wall. A curtain wall is a system of prefabricated non-structural panels that hang on the building like a curtain. We have, I think, more flexibility in terms of uh, creating a much tighter, more elegant, more sophisticated type of skin in this process, and it's far more waterproof. Another major advantage to using a curtain wall is that it can be assembled off-site in a controlled environment. For the curtain wall contractor, Benson Industries, this was the best way to tackle Evo's many design challenges. Condominiums are very, very complicated from a design standpoint because they have a lot of balconies, they have a lot of doors, which are very difficult to seal against air and, and water. The design specs require the panels to resist rain driven by 75 mile per hour winds. Rubber gaskets and silicone seals provide a first layer of protection. Any water that gets past them will be drained away by gutters built into the aluminum frame. The panels also need to stay put during high winds and earthquakes. In 1972, the glass panels in a Boston skyscraper began to mysteriously pop out, crashing into the street below. There were hundreds of pieces of glass fell out of the building. Essentially, what had to happen is they had to put up sidewalk barricades, go in and replace all of the, of the failed product with plywood, and then try to find out what was wrong. Though the official cause was never released, some believe that wind blowing across the glass created a suction effect, pulling the panels out of their frames. Looking good, looking good. To prevent this from happening on Evo, the glass okay. is held in place using Bricks. structural caulking. Here you go, Mark. Make it good, good, all right? Yep. Unlike metal fasteners, Silicone can stretch to absorb forces from wind, heat, even an earthquake. If not, go ahead and throw on, uh... It's the only thing holding the glass in place. 